Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at immigration. Now this is in regards to a report that's just been released by Migration Watch as Julia Hartley Brewer had Alp Ahmet on from Migration Watch as his report has actually released that 90% of our population rise over the last 20 years has been driven by migration. And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. 90%. So I thought we'd run so, through some of the figures. Now, immigrants have added around 7 million people to the British population in the last 20 years. 7 million. The overall number who were born abroad has risen to around 9 million. Audit warns it's likely to produce economic, social and political difficulties. No, Sherlock on that one, isn't it, really? So effectively, 90% is... People have come here and then given birth and that's created the population growth of 90%. Now, let's have a quick run through the numbers, shall we? Over that last 20 years, we've had a net migration, this is, of people at roughly 300,000 per year for 20 years. That's not, that's net as well, everyone, not gross. So people that leave are taken off the list. So that's roughly 8 million people in the last 20 years. And let me, let me remind you that I said all along right from the very beginning, legal migration far outstrips the illegal dinghy divers or truck stop stowaways. And these figures don't count illegal entry. This is legal migration. 20 years ago, the population was 8% immigrant. In the space of 20 years, this report has found that's now risen to 14 to 15% of our population is now immigration. So from 6 million then to 13 million now. This is straight in our nation's resources already the the audit warns it's likely to produce but it already has in my opinion but i would like to know yours let me know if you think i'm wrong we're overcrowded nearly twice as many immigrants in the uk per square mile than germany three and a half three and a half times more than france let's have a listen to what julia says some people would argue you know this is a good thing, uh, bringing in younger people, uh, able-bodied younger people uh, who are having young, having children and, and replacing the population. Replacing the population. Replacing. She said, you hear that? Anyone happy with that? Replacing? Do you want to be, as Julia put it, replaced? I've heard that term before, Julia. I wonder where. Now, what the media won't tell you, don't tell you, is that the white British population in the country has decreased from 86% in 20 years ago to 79% now. Now, these aren't my words. These aren't my figures. This is the Migration Watch reports figures. And the media have reported on it. I thought I'd bring it to you. The word Julia used before wasn't just a term then, was it? Replaced. What else you got to say then, Julia? Let's have a listen. But the key thing is, these are major demographic changes. They are happening on a very big scale and at a very quick pace. And they have an effect on society. They have an effect on public services. They have an effect on, on lots of aspects of our lives. These are major demographic changes. Major demographic changes to our population at a major scale and happen at a, a lightning fast scale. Now, I'm not sure whether you would feel the same, but I think that's something that really needs to be discussed and stopped. Don't you? Pretty bloody damning for the for the government, in my honest opinion. Not much I can say or add, but I'll leave you with this. Two quotes that might clarify a few things. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on in Britain. Uh, it. Um, or oh, let me say this. I I don't know what's going on in London because London is no longer an English city. And that's how they got the Olympics. I mean, they said we're the most cosmopolitan city on earth, but it doesn't feel English. I had a Californian friend come over two months ago, walk down the King's Road and said to me, well, where are all the English people? Similarly, he points out that in London, the white British population has decreased by 600,000, while the minority population has increased by 1.2 million. So yes, lads, we're winning. 